Hey everybody, testing out the audio. How does it sound? I'm getting all set up. Uh, I just have a few things I need to grab, uh, you know, crochet hook and all that fun stuff. But let me know how it all sounds and I'll be on in just a second. And in the meantime, let's watch this adorable cat stretching. Oh my gosh, you guys just missed the best stretch. I'm so sorry. I should have, I should have tossed it over earlier. But I'll be on in just a second. Please let me know how I sound. Oh, he got all resituated. Okay, sorry for the wait. Let's rock and roll and hope that I didn't forget anything. Hello, everybody. Look, I set it up a little bit nicer this time. 
No, it's laggy. Is it laggy for you? Looks maybe laggy. Is it laggy? I don't know. We will find out uh, as we as we go. Hi everybody, welcome to the stream. Uh, today we're going to be finishing up our bonsai tree. Um, we got a decent amount of work to do. Last time we made. Let's pull it all out. By the way, seasonal crochet kits. Get them while they're hot. No, seriously though, I am running low on them, so if you want one, get one now. Um, we're getting ready for season two. I'll talk about that in a little bit too. But, here's what we got so far. So last time we made, I believe this is what we made last time. We made the pot for our bonsai tree. We made the three tree, like limbs for our bonsai tree. Our branches, I guess, is what I call it in the pattern. And then, uh, yeah, that's that's really all we made last week. So we still need to make the grass and then sew everything together. So we might have a decently long live stream, especially since I started late and I'm taking my sweet time getting going, which I shouldn't be, but I am. So we're gonna put these right back here. Um, today we're gonna need our uh, pipe cleaners. Um, and you know what, let's just talk about everything that you need if you want to crochet along with me. Uh, so you guys can grab it if you want to crochet, obviously. You can make whatever you want though. And then we'll talk about how you can support this channel and then we'll finally get rocking and rolling and crocheting. So if you want to crochet along with me, the first thing you're gonna want is the crochet pattern, obviously. You can find it right, right there. Clubcrochet.com slash bonsai. That's where the newly updated pattern is. I just finished updating it with the pot and everything before last live stream. So it's pretty fresh. Um, am I laggy? No, it's not laggy. Oh, cool, 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 not laggy. Um, uh, of the materials that you're gonna need, if you'd like to, you can get a, uh, our, our new seasonal kit, crochet kit. Uh, those are gonna, that's gonna have all the materials that you need, but if you wanna just grab the materials for yourself, right now, you might have them. You're just gonna need um, worsted weight yarn. I'm gonna be using 100% cotton. I'm using our Club Crochet branded cotton yarn. It's like our special yarn, it's really cool. Uh, you can't find it anywhere else, so that's why you should buy it from me. But we're gonna be using the colors. We used brown last time to make our branches. We used jute or, or beige to make the bonsai pot itself. I've done it in blue in the past, but I didn't have a a beige one, so I really wanted to try to make a beige one. Um, and the last color we're gonna need for today's crochet is we will need some forest green. That's gonna be used for the grass of our bonsai tree. Besides that, with the yarn, um, you're going to need a crochet hook, of course. We're gonna be using a size G four millimeter crochet hook. If you get lost at any point in this pattern, I will do my best to help you out. Um, but obviously we're not in our normal setup where you can see my hands because the bonsai tree is just really big. It's hard to fit into the light box. So, uh, but if you want extra help and, and you get stuck at any point, just let me know. I am reading the comments. Um, speaking of, big question. Did I see your cactus on Facebook? You know I did, Tegan, and I loved it. Um, speaking of cactus club crochet, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. it's late. Bro. You need to refresh your SSL certificate. I don't know what that means. Please explain what that means. Cause it sounds like something I actually do need to refresh and I don't know what that means. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Where were we? Where were we? Materials. Yes, materials. You got, we got the cotton yarn. You need a little bit of stuffing. You don't really need that much. You just need it for the uh, branches themselves. You'll need some pipe cleaners, um, which I have right here. Uh, you really just need three pipe cleaners. This is just gonna be to help keep the branches in place. So we'll need some of that. And the big one, you're gonna need pom-poms. Now you can make pom-poms. I do have a tutorial for that uh, with the pattern. It comes with a little tutorial for how to make your own pom-poms. But I do kind of suggest buying some yarn pom-poms. They uh, make your life a lot easier and uh, they look more perfect than anything you can make uh, with your hands. So that's just my tip. Uh, these do come with the kit, however. 
Um, and then you'll need some black thread for showing the pom-poms on, which I will grab right now to get ahead of schedule. Um, oh, I already grabbed the... Did I already grab the... Oh, yes, I'm using it over there. I was using it for another project. I will grab that in a second. Um, and, yeah, well, let's place out our little uh, sunflower and stuff to make our background look a little prettier. Um, but as you can tell, this is a relatively chill live stream. Uh, we're just here to hang out and crochet together uh, and just talk and just jam. Yeah, you said it, Jimbo. Jimbo has moved from his uh, throne. He is now laying on the floor and being very cute. And I'm certain he will bother us a whole bunch in this live stream. So if you like Jimbo, stick around. I'm sure you'll see a lot more of him. <laughs> um, okay, so we got our forced green yarn out. We got our crochet hook. Okay, cool. Um, besides that, you're going to need the crochet pattern itself, of course. You can find that at clubcrochet.com slash bonsai. And now while you're grabbing all those materials, let's talk about how you can support this channel if you'd like to. Um, the first easy free way to support the channel is just to like and subscribe down below. It's totally free to do and it helps support this channel. If this video gets, I can't remember what I what we were aiming for last time, but I don't think we hit it. So if this video gets 150 likes, 150, we'll do a giveaway next live stream. So that seems like a pretty, pretty fair deal. That's not too many. Um, oh, Cooper, thank you for the donation. Super appreciated. I will talk about that in just a second as well. Um, so that is the be that's the easiest free way to support this channel. Just like and subscribe. Um, if you want to support monetarily. Uh, consider a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to my exclusive library of tutorials. I add new ones every single month. Next, oh, and we're doing seasonal, like now we're doing it seasonally. So this season was all plant themed. Um, we've got our final, oh, Jimbo's messing with the cord. So if you see the cat cam get messed up, it's because it's his fault. Um, hey, we're not playing with that. I'm sorry. I know, we're not playing. Um, okay, where was I, where was I? Oh yeah, memberships. Uh, it's a super great way to support this channel. It, um, you get a whole bunch of stuff and uh, it comes with a monthly membership with the uh, patterns. Oh, every pattern has video tutorials. And now we're doing it, uh, we're doing seasons. So this was, this. we're currently in season one. Season two starts in July and uh, today, if you support monetarily with a tip, I'm gonna show off some of the stuff for next season's um, crochet kit, which will be available for pre-order. It should have been available last night. I tried my hardest. It should be available for pre-order as of tomorrow. Um, so I'm trying to get it up tonight. So there's my spiel there. Uh, and yeah, I kind of barely talked about it for a second. There's kits and merch in the store, but if you support with a tip, which would be super duper appreciated. You do not have to do that at all, but it would be really cool. You can go to just clubcrochet.com slash tip. If you check out um, uh, Cooper in the chat, he's posting a bunch of links, special links to Cooper, and extra special links to Cooper because, ooh, what about the mystery pattern? Well, that's coming out next week, and I still have to record it tomorrow. <sighs> I've got a lot to do. Okay. <laughs> Um, if you'd like to support with a tip like Cooper did, thank you so much, Cooper. Um, I will add something to our tip cam right there and I'll show off one of the next season's uh, patterns. I think I showed off a few of them last time. We talked about the whale. I think we talked about the killer whale. Um, so I just wanna show off a couple of other ones that you may have seen before. Jimbo, no, you cannot chew on cords. Chewing on cords is bad. Let's show them some other crochet things from next season. No, you're fine. What? You are a wild child. Okay, you do you. Okay, so we showed off, I think we showed off the killer whale and the normal whale last time. Uh, I wanna show off next one that you probably have seen before, but it's worth reiterating. This is gonna be another one of the patterns in next season's kit. Um, Jimbo, stop. That is not edible. Um, <laughs> dude. 
uh, yeah, uh, every season includes like some patterns that are already in the library that I'm kind of updating. And one of the patterns from next season that's already in the library technically, but is gonna be a little bit prettier is the octopus crochet pattern, which you probably have seen before, but oh my gosh, it's so cute, super duper fun. And this is gonna be one of the patterns in next uh, season's kit. And look how nice it looks with our new club crochet yarn. It's so crisp. Um, and then you're gonna be able to make a bunch of hats and stuff for it. So thank you, Cooper. We're gonna put this out right here. If you wanna see more uh, of the patterns, tip, and I'll show you some more. There's some really, really cool new ones that I'm really excited to show you. Um, I actually have a few things today that I'm excited to show you outside of that, but. Okay, that's enough rambling. Let's add something to the background for Cooper. You're gonna see me place it right right there. You probably won't hear me for a second. Um, but let's see, what are we adding to the background for Cooper? Doopa Koopa. Doopa Doopa Koopa. Um, we're gonna go via, ah, I tripped over my cord. We're gonna go via Monomal today and grab, oh, here we go. I haven't seen this guy in a while. We're gonna add, oops. We're gonna add a rhino for Cooper. Thanks again, Cooper. You rock my socks. Ow. Oh, barely balances. Barely balances. I don't know if you saw me put it out there. I know it was really tiny in that little corner, but it barely balanced and it looks really good. Uh, speaking of a tree is coming. My dad is currently working on it. It's almost done. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay. Let's talk comments while I get set up to start crocheting. Oh, there is a hill simp. There is a, actually, let me grab, where did I put, oh, it's right here. So, I've already made literally like, I think I've made 13 things for next season already, even though I'm supposed to only do six projects per season. But I was like, let's see how many things I can make uh, with this kit. And I've made like 13 things already. And look how much yarn I still have left over. It's crazy. I have so much yarn left over for next season's kit. I'm really excited. But one of the things I'm making for my little dudes is what Hillsimp just said. We're making little... We're gonna do pirate hats. We got little chef hats. Here's a little pirate hat. What are you doing, bud? He's like making a weird noise at the window. Anyhow, uh, this is a pirate hat. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting, but this is for the octopus. Um, then there's gonna be chef hats and little beanies and stuff like that. So anyhow, let's get crocheting. Ah, 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 very good question, Susan. Um, that one actually technically is not out yet because I didn't finish the customizable pattern. So Susan's asking about the prickly pear cactus. Jimbo, we're not knocking over things, which is right here. Yeah, I know, let's show Susan the prickly pear cactus. This is the prickly pear one. You can kind of see it. It's really, really cool. Don't, don't, don't lock on my face. There you go. Jimbo, we're talking. Hold on. Um, technically it's not out, but I will explain to you how that is made in just a second. It's very easy. Uh, and I'm working on that customizable cactus pattern along with everything else. It should be ASAP. 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 Yeah. You tell him, Jimbo. You tell him. Okay, we are. Hold on, I need to pull up the crochet pattern because I forgot, I forgot how to make the grass. Hold on. Gosh, he's so yelly today. Yelly, yelly boy. Why is it always, when we do a live stream, you feel the need to scream? Oh, now you're quiet when I ask you an important question. What? So head buddy too. Oh, I should have done the YouTuber thing to put my hand behind it like this. Like this thing. 
Ah, oh, how beautiful. It's actually, so it's made with bobble, or not bobble stitches, bean stitches, which I learned how to turn into fuzz. It's super cool. I'm working on a tutorial just for that technique too. Hey, chill, relax, relax. You can lay here. You can lay here. There you go. This is gonna be super easy to crochet with you on my lap. Super duper easy. Wow, you don't say. Okay, hold on, we need to log in. God, there's so many things to do. Use my password. Use my thumb to log in. Okay, blah, blah, blah. All right. Hi, buddy. My gosh, you're so sweet. You are the sweetest boy right now. Are you looking up at me? Oh my God, look at you. Wow. Wow. Okay. Ooh, okay, Noah. Noah wants me to make a crocheted cube tutorial. I actually have made cubes crocheted before in the past. Um, I have a tutorial that might actually work for you, Noah. It's called, um, my present. I think it's called the present or gift box pattern. It's on the website. Uh, that might actually get you there to make a cube. It's, it makes a cube, so. Okay, Jimbo. Can you hear him purring? He is purring very loud. Hi. Hi. Why don't you lay, why don't I scoot over and you can lay right? No, 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 hold on. You can lay right like that. Sometimes if I get him squished into a little spot, he'll stay. You don't think so? Okay, well you figure out what you're doing as I get ready to start our bonsai. Oh, something he wants to see outside. You got a squirrel or something? Okay, well you have fun staring at squirrels. Ugh. Oh, there you go. Cooper just posted a link for you, Noah. That's very nice of you, Cooper. Thanks. Cooper, you are on it, my dude. Very good. Good job. Okay. One, two. No, where is that? Why did my brightness, what is going on here? Man. There is Discord open somewhere, and I don't know where. There it is. I found it. That drives me crazy when I have Discord secretly open. Dude. Okay. Cooper deserves a raise. Well, I did just send him the... Uh, I sent him two seasonal kits and a bunch of pins and stickers, so I think that's not bad. Hey, Jimbo... We're not biting cords. Am I gonna have to kick you out? I don't wanna kick you out. Well, if you keep biting cords, I'm gonna have to. Oh my gosh, dude. You are so chaos. So much chaos. Chaos incarnate. I shouldn't be sitting like this. Okay, back to crocheting. What are you guys working on today? Anybody else crocheting? What you guys making if you are crocheting? And if you're not crocheting, what you doing? How was your day? Have you been playing many video games? Uh, listen to any good podcast? Witchy Boy last live stream gave me a suggestion for a podcast called Let's Talk About Myths, Baby. And I've been listening to that all week. And that's pretty good. That's been pretty good. Pick and poke designs. You thought that that was your Discord? Yeah, it did. I mean, once once you hear Discord, you know, Discord is Discord, so. I would also think it was mine. Four, five, six. Okay. And then slip stitch to connect. Okay. The grass is really fun to make on this because we're, we're gonna use a technique called the um, the loop stitch which I learned specifically to make grass. And uh, it's way cool. It's a very fun stitch to make. Cooper's working on the succulent. 
I think the succulent's my favorite pattern from this season. I think. I think. Therefore, I'm yam. How's the music, by the way? Music too quiet? Too loud? It looks like it's too quiet, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, Zoe. Dude. That's a long flight. I'm assuming that's, what, 12 to 14 hours or something like that? From Australia to Canada. Actually, probably even further, because you're, like, on the other side of Canada, too. That must have been a long, long, long flight. Ooh, Noah's making a crocheted cutie bug. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cute. Music volume is good, but a little faint. I can fix that. Oh, never mind. This song will fix that by being a loud song. Tegan's making an ogre. That's dope. Oh my god. Speaking of, I made a new bag for my goblins. Um, so I started hiding goblins in my neighborhood. Uh, there's this like really really nice meadow that I go on a walk and I I like walk through this meadow and It's just like prime prime location for for hiding goblins. So I've been six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh, Doing exactly that. I've been hiding goblins there. Uh, I Only have one hidden there so far. Its name is sprout. I made it actually I made it on Instagram live the other day um, because I wanted to give a sh Instagram live a shot it was kind of weird Instagram live is like a little strange but you know it was kind of fun and I made a very cute goblin and then hit it in that neighborhood I'm supposed I'm gonna be doing a short for it pretty soon um, I just need to record the last like section of it Rube, oh. Ruby says that their cactus is based on a Nintendo creature. Oh, did you make the spiky ball one? I did see that one. Um, oh, speaking of what Ruby's talking about, and I think I barely mentioned it for a second, the Club Crochet Challenge is almost over. It's gonna be done tomorrow. I'm gonna choose my four favorite cactuses, and then y'all are gonna vote on your favorite cactus, and I'll explain like where to vote and stuff. We'll have a week to vote. And then the winner will win a um, seasonal crochet kit. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so if you want to enter to win, all you got to do is crochet a cactus and post a picture. Uh, I have all the instructions linked in the description or at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Uh, I think Cooper has posted it in the chat already a few times. So yeah, uh, submit your cactus now or forever. Hold your cleats. Oh, Sarah. Well, I hope you feel better. Just chilling. We are all just chilling. I hope you have a good day and hope you feel better. I'm going to need Jules is going to make me a tea soon, I think. So, I'm really excited about that because I had a coffee, but you know, I feel like my caffeine tolerance is getting worse and worse. I need like stronger and stronger a stronger hit. Um, we've got a pretty hard cutoff today at 6, by the way, because Jules and I are going to see a, an improv show in L.A. that I'm super duper excited for. Um, there's a comedian that's going to be doing it called uh, um, John Gabris that I, I think is really funny. And then there's another one. Jimbo, stop. You're being disruptive. Uh, and then there's another group called, um, what are they called, Jimbo? They're called Wolves of Glendale that are going to be there that I'm excited for. Um, Jules and I are a big fan of them. They're, they're, they just do funny songs. So I am very excited to go see that. Tina, you're making a winter hat. I don't know if you knew, but it is summer. But you know, you got to be prepared. 
Ooh, what kind of tea? I think I'm gonna go with just like a regular black tea, hopefully, because I just need something with loads of caffeine. Also, I like black tea a lot, especially boba. Mm. Milk, milk tea, milk black tea with boba. Mm -mm. Tea as in the drink. Quick, oh wait. Competition question from Ruby. They ask, do we need to post our cactus by tonight or can we post it tomorrow? Uh, you can post it tomorrow, but you gotta go quick. Um, I'm probably going to choose my four favorites by, I'll probably choose them by like two tomorrow and, and do a social media post. I'll post them on the YouTube uh, community section and then I'll post it on um, Instagram and, and Discord and all the places. Uh, but yeah, I, th I think you have until two Pacific Standard Time to submit your picture. Technically, you only have till midnight, but like, r realistically, I won't wake up till like 10 or 11 because I am, I like to stay up late and sleep in. Ooh, I could totally use some boba right now. Anybody want to send me some boba? Send me boba. Someone send me boba. Oh my god, that would be the coolest thing ever, but I also don't want to put my address in the... <laughs> for just in case, like, there's weirdos out there. But... That would be pretty cool. Yeah. You want to sit with me? Okay. We gotta go quick, buddy. So you gotta lay down. Lay down. All the way. Don't bite me. I'm trying to... There you go, good boy. Can we do this simultaneously? Are you gonna get fur in our bonsai tree? Probably. Probably lots of it. But that's okay. Yes. Okay, very, very interesting. Interesting. Jimbo's telling me terrible secrets that he heard about squirrels outside that I don't think are true. Honestly, I don't think they're true. Oh, let's get in a better position, bro. We're gonna put this behind your head so you don't look at it. How long do you think we got Jimbo on, on my lap for? I'm gonna guess five minutes and then he'll be sick of this. Okay, I think we got the size of our grass patch made. It's not very big yet, but now we can start doing the actual grass itself. And that's the fun part. Wait, do we? Every other stitch gets replaced with the loop stitch. Yes, okay. So I slip stitch here. And then we'll chain two and then we'll start making the grass. Cooper's got, Cooper thinks we got two minutes. We might. There we go, I made my first blade of grass. Ooh, I'm trying to find a good spot to show him, Jimbo. But if I go too crazy, you're gonna bite it. Wait, did I do that right? I go in, and then I do like this. Ah, no I didn't, there we go. Once you get into the habit of making this grass, it gets like way more fun. Can you still hear Jimbo purring? I don't think you can. I can't see it moving on the thing, but he's purring very loudly in my lap. It's so cute. You're such a sweet boy now. Hey, Pepe, we're not biting. You know the deal. You're allowed to chill, but not to bite. Okay, 
you go. He really likes ear scratches, as you can tell. Oh. Am I, do am I not doing it good enough? All right, I'm sorry. You stay right there then. Just hang out. I think it's nap time, buddy. You fall asleep? Ooh, matcha. Yeah, like a matcha green tea. That probably would work. I don't think I have any though. But I've heard matcha green tea has a lot of caffeine in it. So what have we been up to, Jimbo, since the last live stream? Do you remember? What did we do this weekend? Do you remember? I don't think we did much of anything. did we do we went to the I went to the museum oh there you go I did something it was okay there's a lot of kids which was fun but I don't have a kid so it would have been more fun if I had one should have brought Jimbo you could have done they were, they were doing sack races Jimbo would be great at that, wouldn't you, bud? Hey, relax. Yeah. Jimbo makes you feel better that your cat is also a biter. Yeah. He only gives love bites. He's always just nice about it, but I can't get I can't get him to stop. My whole time I've had Jimbo, I've been trying to get him to not bite. But it's so difficult. He's just such a biter. Ooh, Ivy, good question. Uh, Ivy wants to know if the mystery pattern is a water bear. Um, since it's coming out so soon, I will uh, give you a little bit more of a hint. It's not Amigurumi. It's not, it's not stuffed with anything. It uses a lot of different colors. Uh, I just wanted to stretch my wings and try something different. So I really hope I don't disappoint anybody with the pattern because I feel like there's been a lot of hype for it and people are like, oh, is it gonna be this, this, this? And I don't know. I'm just, I, I worry that because it's so different than anything I've ever made before, that people are gonna be like, this isn't what I was expecting. So I hope that's not the case. Hope you like it. Next season, oh my god, I've been going crazy with season two. I've been going wild because, so not only am I designing a bunch of patterns for it, but I've also got, uh, I also reached out to Philip, uh, Sir Pearl Gray, and Druby Zoo. They're also each going to do patterns for next season's kit. And it's not a Beanie Cooper. Good question, though. Um, Uh, da, 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 da. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Cooper, or not Cooper, Philip from Sir Pearl Gray and uh, Drewby Zoo are each gonna do patterns for next season's kit. And oh my God, both, both. Drew sent me his prototype pattern today and uh, Philip sent me his the other day. And oh my God, they are so cute. It's it's crazy. Next season's kit is going to make so many different projects. I don't even know how I'm going to make them all in live streams because there's not enough Thursdays in three months to make all the different things that I want to make. It's, it's going to be cool. I really wish that I got the pre-order set up by this live stream because I know like, I know there's people out there that are like, I want to get it. And the pre-order gives you like a discount and stuff. So I might just do that discount for a little longer since I, took too long to get the pre-order up, but I'll keep you updated. It's not a bag, but I do want to start crocheting bags, actually. I want to do bags. Uh, I really want to start making, um, I want to make a water bottle holder really bad, like just because I really want a water bottle holder. And I thought, oh, that's a good, that would be a good like pattern to have on the site too. And it's good to make with cotton, so. 
I have been thinking about making bags more. Is it clothes? It is not clothes. You do not wear the mystery pattern. I mean, I guess you could wear it, but it'd be kind of weird. All right, bud. We're finally almost done with round five, which means we're going way, way too slow, dude. I crochet a lot slower with a cat on my lap, turns out. Oh my God, he's so cute. Look, I'm just watching me crochet. <laughs> it's crazy. There we go. All right, so that round's done. Slip stitch to connect. And chain two. Okay. There, you can kind of see, see all the little loopies on it? If I put it maybe in front of my face, it'll lock on maybe? No? You don't want to? All right. I can't move too much. I got a cat in my arms. Ugh. See, the problem is everybody's saying, guessing, trying to guess what the mystery pattern is, and everybody's idea is like, is like better than what I made. <laughs> I think what I made is cool. I, I, I will say that. I think it's a very cool pattern, but like, there's a lot of good ideas. There's people are saying some good ideas that I'm like, oh my gosh, uh, like someone just said, um, who said that? Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Is the mystery plant or pattern a pot plant hanger? It's not, but it totally should be. Like, that's such a good idea. I know, buddy. I know. I'm being too loud for you. You need to sleep. My lord. Yeah, I'll get it onto the website, like, as soon as possible. I still need to technically... Like, it's written, but it's not, like, perfected. So I need to do that tonight. And then record the video tomorrow. Edit it Saturday publish it hopefully Sunday is the goal but I am clearly behind schedule when it comes to that there's a crow on the deck buddy you don't want to mess with it all right he's happy regardless of how difficult it is to crochet with Jimbo on me it is way worth it. Oh my God, that single stitch took me like 15 seconds to make. You can't even see it because I have to hold my arms like this. Let's turn our bodies, buddy. Let's go like that. You're just gonna get a big, big pile of Jimbo fuzz. I feel like people are gonna join into this live stream and be like, what the heck is happening right now? What is that thing on his lap? It keeps moving. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Is it a fishing net? That'd be crazy. That'd be, <laughs> that would be really funny actually. And now we're gonna learn how to crochet something that's actually practical. We're gonna go fishing. Now, next season, we're gonna get a lot more traditional. I guess not traditional, but we're just gonna be making, it is, it is I think, all amigurumi next season. And it's a lot. Honestly, I kept like, I kept, I was testing, I'm testing the kit out right now to like make sure, like just to like see how many patterns I can make with it. And it's like, oh my God, I can't, I can make so many things. You make. Like legitimately, unless you, until you run out of eyes, you can make like 20, 30 things for next season. It's crazy. Hey Akari, how are you? How's your sister too? Hope y'all are doing well. 
Hey Zoe. What Zoe said? Ugh. I did have my crochet station all neat and tidy, but your partner rejunkified it. That's not very nice. That's not very nice at all. I do that to Jules every now and then though. She'll go on vacation and I'll like use her office a bunch because I don't know, there's something about working in someone else's office. Look at Jimbo biting me right now. He's like nibbling on my armpit. You're such a little freak, dude. No. You've been, oh, River is in Japan. That's awesome. Jules and I are gonna go to Japan in, we're planning on the, like celebrating New Year's in Japan. How freaking cool is that? We haven't gone on vacation in a long time. So we've been planning it for a while. And the other day my cousin was like, we're gonna go to Japan for New Year's. And I was like, I guess we are too. Cause I wanted to do that. What's up, bud? Are you getting up? Good, because I just messed up a stitch. Go on. Go on your throne. Or go watch the crows out there. You look like a... You look so scruffy right now. When Jimbo gets all scruffed up, like his fur gets all like matted. Not matted, but like all like messy. He like twitches a bunch. He's like, you see his fur like... Eh, 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 eh. It's very... It's, it's actually really cute. Um, have we picked a wedding date yet? We haven't picked a wedding date yet, um, but we're thinking in uh, May or June next year. I know it's been a quite a long wait, but we just have so much going on with moving and and uh, there's just been a lot of business stuff going on and Jules's work has been a lot and we just haven't had time to plan it, honestly. So we've been kind of planning slowly We've been thinking about getting like a wedding planner, but we're not very sure if we want to do that or not. And yeah, we're still figuring it out. That's so fun that River went to Japan. I hope I hope they had a great time. I really want to crack my back, but I really shouldn't. I've been getting really good at beatboxing. Just a little, just a little thing. Just a little fact. <gasps> Jimbo's going into his throne. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. I think I missed a stitch somewhere. Oh, I almost just missed a stitch. That was, that was close. Glad I said something. I've been watching this show on, uh, I think it's on Peacock, called, um, what's it called? Well, I've been watching two shows there. One of them I was, I've been watching called um, Resident Alien, I think is what it's called. It's pretty good, I like it. Uh, it's very fun to just watch and think about what's gonna happen next. But one show that Jules and I have been watching there that we are, we really like and are very curious of where it goes is called Miss Davis. Has anybody in the chat heard of this show? It's like the main character is a nun, but like the whole story is about an AI like algorithm that has like not really like enslaved humanity, but kind of just like like controls humanity in a weird way. I don't know. It's super interesting. Kind of funny. Um, just a really good show. Highly suggested. I haven't seen the end yet, so I don't know what happens, but, uh, so far I'm really, really, really enjoying that show a lot. Um, yeah. Hey, Sarah, I'll show it a little bit closer when I, um, get to the end of this round. So you can see the loops a little bit clearer. I do like these chill live streams. They do make it like 
more, I don't know, just nice and relaxed, you know? Which is kind of nice after doing, like I, I do enjoy doing live streams in the light box a lot, but especially when it's a big project like this, it's so hard to fit everything into the light box to like show what I'm doing that, and it's like just such a big project that I just, it's nice to have a break from the light box itself. It also gets really warm in that light box. So if I'm doing a stream there for like three hours, I am like sweating. I'm sweating afterwards. So it's kind of nice having just like a, a chill one where I get to sit down and just hang out and talk and do whatever. When am I going to Japan? We're not sure yet. We haven't booked any flights, but we're looking for, we're looking at like the end of the year, like leaving right after Christmas is, is I think our goal. But we're not totally sure yet. We're still figuring it out. Okay, that round's finished. So here, you, now you can see the loops. Let's cover my face. Let's do that thing, yeah. There you go. Look how cute that is. And then after we're done with this, I think we only have, I actually think we only have one more round and then we can cut all the loops and it turns into grass. It's really cool. Can I tell you a story about crochet because you like them? You want a story about crochet? Um, Tegan, what would I do if someone guesses the pattern correctly? I might say something like, like, no. Uh-uh. Um, you're not 100% right, Tegan. I'll tell you that much. Um, is next season gonna have a mystery pattern too? Yes, next season will actually have, I think, one, two. One, two, three, it might have four mystery patterns. Definitely three mystery patterns, but it might have four. So yeah, we're going, I'm going hard on the mystery patterns next season because the, the released patterns that aren't gonna be mystery patterns are, there's like nine patterns that are not mystery patterns. So yeah, next season's going hard, getting pretty, uh, it's gonna be a lot, a lot of patterns. Because next season, so season one here started in mid like, like April, it started like mid May is when season one started, the, the one that we're making right now. And so normally each season is supposed to last three months, but because season one was kind of delayed and I was still figuring out how it was gonna work, uh, it started in the middle of the season. So it was kind of like a short season Whereas season two, Under the Sea, is going to be way longer. It's going to be three months total. So it's going to be double what the length was for season one. So because of that, there's a lot of patterns in it. You know, we're making lots of different Under the Sea stuff. Plus, Under the Sea, like, it, there's so many options. There's so many things we can make. So, yeah, we are making a quite a lot. A quite a lot. I'm very excited. I've even got a new game that I'm working on for it. One, two, there you go. Yeah, there's a lot of mystery patterns next season, especially because I'm I'm starting to like branch out now, and um, you know reach out to other crocheters to start doing patterns for seasons, um, like basically the collaboration patterns. I want to start adding collaboration patterns in into every season. I didn't do too much of that this season, uh, other than the um, Sir Pearl Gray made a sea turtle for our uh, Earth Day crochet along, but. Uh, in season two, I want to kind of stretch those limbs a little bit more. And so we've got two collaboration patterns. Uh, I'm reaching out to a third person to make more patterns for it. 
Um, but I kind of want to use them as opportunities to showcase like other amigurumi artists and also of course pay those artists to make designs. Um, but it kind of just like adds into the idea that Club Crochet, I really want Club Crochet to be like a, um, like a home for other crocheters, not just me. By the way, check this out really quick. Oh, he stopped. He was just licking his throne a bunch. He was like cleaning the throne. So funny. He's just so cute. Um, okay, let's keep going. Uh, and the other thing with season, with the next season is like, I've tried to like set myself up so that anything like, I have set patterns, you know, like I'm gonna do this pattern this month, like each each month has two patterns that we're making, blah, blah, blah. But you know me, I can't stop my brain from making new stuff up. So like I'm gonna be making, I know I already have like 15 different ideas in mind for like, ooh, I should do this as a design because it's under the sea themed. Like, oh my gosh, I should do this as a design. This is a design. So I'm sure I'm going to be making additional things next season to go as like they're gonna be alternative patterns in the season so they're not like um they're not like you know the main patterns but you can make them with the kits that's kind of the idea there um but yeah we'll see how it goes i'm i'm pretty excited so someone i think someone just asked about a blob fish uh, i do have in the plans to do a blob fish as like an alternative pattern. I actually made a dolphin that looks like a blobfish. I know that's not a good thing. Like it's not, doesn't look like a dolphin, but it does kind of look like a blobfish. So I was like, oh, it kind of gave me an idea of how to make a blobfish, so. But you can, you can kind of hear like, it did not look like a, I mean, it kind of looks like a dolphin from the side, <laughs> but also it doesn't. I just need to rework it. There's gonna be a lot though. If you guys have any other ideas for under the sea patterns that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments right now. Uh, it's a great, great chance for you to let me know. Oh, Miss Nikki, yeah, no problem. Actually, I do have something I wanna talk about on the stream. I wanna do more of a talk about it in, like do an actual video for it. But this week's kind of been there's, there's been like kind of a lot going on this week because I found a few like Etsy sites and a few books on Amazon that are stealing my Triceratops pattern right now. And I'm like, I'm just really frustrated because like, I just, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with like having to talk to a lawyer and doing cease and desists and all this other stuff. But there's two people that have just like straight up been stealing my pattern and I'm like really, really frustrated about it this week. Um, yeah, let me let me finish up this pattern and I'll show you one of them. Actually, you know what? We're talking about it right now. Let me show you right now. Look at this. Just cause I wanna show, I bought this book on Amazon, right? Because someone said they think my pattern's in it. So I bought this book on Amazon and I looked through it and the entire book is just other people's designs. Other people's dinosaur designs, free patterns online that they took, they copied completely. They even took my pictures, they copied and pasted it, and then they put it up for print. And you can buy this on Amazon right now. And it's completely copyright infringement. I did not give my A-OK. -okay. They even left in, look at that, they left in, you can't really see it, but they, they left in time codes for the video tutorial, which doesn't make any sense because there's no video tutorial for this. So it's just clear they just went copy, paste, print. And it's like, are you serious? Like, how could you do that? Um, yeah, Miss Nikki, you're good, you're good. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about like, there's someone on Etsy selling that Triceratops pattern for $4. There's this, That's this is a $5 book on Amazon that prints, and I'm like, there's been like four people on Etsy starting to sell my crocheted uh, Triceratops pattern and it's driving me bonkers. I don't know what to do about it. Like, 
I sent I sent the person on Etsy a cease and desist. They replied saying, there's nothing I can do about it, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, come on, dude, you stole my pattern. Like, I know there's nothing I can do. Like, I don't wanna go through all the, I don't wanna go through all the effort of like, find, like going to a lawyer, sending official cease and desists for them to like, I, I'm not gonna go, I don't wanna go to court. I'm a, like, come on, man, just don't steal my patterns. It's really messed up. Um, the person on, on Etsy uh, is also on Instagram. I can't remember what their name is. Yeah, just... Yeah, so I don't really know. I just don't know what to do. I like, I messaged them. They didn't, they were just kind of rude about it. And now I like, so basically what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to do a video that like explains all this for other crocheters. That's like, hey, just so you know, if you like crochet or you are a designer for crochet, people might be stealing your patterns and putting them on Amazon. I know this has happened to Sir Pearl Grey as well. I'm sure it's happened to Drewby Zoo. It happens to every am amigurumi artist on the internet because it's really hard to protect your stuff and it's really easy to steal it and put it online for free or for, for sale. So I, I think I'm going to do a video where I like kind of talk about this problem, showcase some people, some like bad, like, especially on Amazon, some books that are like, this is clearly stolen. This is clearly stolen. So yeah, I'm just, it's just really, really annoying though. It's been bothering me all week. Like it's literally kept me up at night. Like, I don't know what to do about it other than to like, make it known to other people so they can do like so other people can comment and say like hey you stole this pattern or something but yeah you should add your name i mean i do that it's got like i've got copyright uh stuff on every page of the pattern and and also like i mean regardless of that i don't think that would stop anybody from stealing the pattern you know like they'll just delete it or they'll re quote unquote rewrite it because there's also this whole other element of stealing patterns that's like people recreating my pattern and like changing it ever so slightly. So it's technically not my pattern. It's not like copied and pasted, but it's plagiarization. Like they took, they still took it. And like, yeah, just drives me bonkers bananas. Yeah, I like like watermarks don't really help. I mean, watermarks would help the picture, but other people will just like take the pattern and remake it and then take their own picture. So a watermark wouldn't help there either. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We can talk about positive stuff, Noah. Yeah, well, we can change the subject for sure. Um, even though it has been frustrating me all week. <laughs> but yeah, we can talk about more positive stuff. Uh, let's see, let's see. What what do we got to talk about? Video games? Any new games coming out? I haven't played nearly enough of Legend of Zelda. Um, I just haven't had the time recently. But gosh, I want to. I should play it tonight if I can. Once I get the under the sea kit, like for pre-orders, because I've been meaning to do that literally all week. Once that's up, I think I can play Zelda tonight happily, but we'll see. Knowing me, I'll procrastinate until like midnight and then I'll get the under the sea kit up and then it'll be like 2 a.m. and I'll be like, shoot, I can't play Zelda. <laughs> Whoa, Cooper, you're crazy, dude. Cooper said that they're on that Korok grind on, which if you haven't played Zelda, Koroks are like these little cute sprites that like fairy sprite kind of plant things that you can find. And then they give you a little like 
medallion and then you can use those medallions to do things in the game but the real point is like kind of it's a treasure chest and there's like a thousand of them they're everywhere they're so hard to find too and cooper just said that he has found 450 which is wild i have like 20 so that's quite a lot um okay we need a pretty large amount of yarn here because we need to sew this onto a onto our uh onto a piece of cardboard eventually now i can't remember the process that i do do i do oh yeah that's right we cut the cut all these first so we finished the grass now the next thing that we want to do is we want to cut all of these loops because there's just like a bunch of these little loops there i also am going to stretch this out a little bit just so it's a little bit bigger but all these loops need to be cut and so i just take the scissors let me get my face out of this so it'll there you go so we're going to take our scissors and just start snipping all the loops and there's a lot of them and they don't come undone either like you can pull the strand and it doesn't come out so it's kind of nice and what's cool about this i'm, I'm just going to brag about this yarn for a little bit because i'm super duper proud of it um what's really cool about this the new cotton club crochet yarn is that uh it's like so it's four ply yarn, which is pretty normal for co for cotton yarn. Most yarn, most cotton yarns are like three or four ply yarn, but each of the individual plies of yarn has is consists of six ply yarn. So it's like six ply yarn wound into four plies. It's it means it basically means that each one of these little strands of yarn See if I can get it focused in. Each one of these little strands of yarn have like a bunch of little tiny strands in it. So when you turn this into grass, it'll start to become unwound over time and it'll just become really, really fuzzy. It'll become like really grassy. It's super cool. Not intentional. I didn't buy this yarn because I, it would make good grass. I was just like, oh my God, that's so cool. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud of, I'm pretty proud of this yarn. Ooh, oldie but a goodie. Have I, Miss Nikki asks if I've released the Deadpool pattern. Uh, man, that is an old one. I don't think I ever did release that pattern. Um, mostly because Marvel really likes to give me cease and desists if I put things up from their patterns or from their designs or, you know, use their copywritten characters as designs. Uh, but, I have been working for, I mean, how long guys? Like probably like four years now on a customizable, um, a customizable pod person pattern so that you can design your own pod people. And one of the designs in there is like Deadpool basically. So I'm working on it, but you know, I'm working on a lot of things. So don't hold your breath, especially cause it's a copywritten or, you know, a uh uh what's it called the uh, a trademarked character so i can't like i can't put a whole bunch of effort into the designs of a character if i'm gonna like just get a cease and desist and they're gonna take the video down anyhow is that all of them it's pretty long grass you know it looks like a little you know, if I lose all my hair, I can use this as a toupee maybe. Ooh, will I be showing off some of the entries in for the Club Crochet Challenge on the live today? I, yeah, you know what? I think we can do that. I think that sounds like a really fun idea. So yes, Zoe, I will do that. Um, but first, uh, we have all of our cr things crocheted. Our next step is to sew some stuff together. And I really think we should make a little bit more progress before we do, like before we switch gears completely. So, what collection do I have of what? Add your name. Do, do, do. 
Noah, what does your question mean? You, you asked what, what collection do I have? I, I don't really know. Is that something I was talking about, but I forgot maybe? Uh, um, by the way, I got a new water bottle because I left my water bottle outside and the top of it got all weird and nasty. And so then I washed it and then this thing on the handle got all weird. So I need to get a new water bottle. So we got the new, look at all this fresh real estate for pictures or for stickers. Okay, let me see if I can pull up some pattern, some stuff to show off of the cactuses and the and whatnot. Um, the hard part is gonna be making this so that I can like actually show it on screen. So I have to kind of figure that part out. Let me. Hmm. Because I, I always have a hard time. Oh, or do I? Did I just figure it out? Maybe. Okay, wait, hold on. I don't want to make this go live just yet. So let me. Let me set this up first. I need to put this down here somewhere above the hand camera. Okay. And then if I go like this, let me find the picture first because I don't want to. Where is it? And then we got to open Instagram. Mentions. Tegan, you put it into the Club Crochet group, right? On Facebook? I'm pretty sure that's where you put it. But I can't remember. Any uh, advice or like any help finding that it would be good. In the meantime, I'm gonna pull up the Instagram ones and then I'll pull up the Discord ones and we're gonna hope that Discord is kind to us and doesn't start going bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, Instagrams, it's opens, Club Crochet Challenge. Instagram changed their whole algorithm, right? So you can't see like the newest posts. It drives me bonkers bananas now. It's very silly and I don't like the change that they've made, but that's kind of a classic, classic, really just a classic. Okay, let's look at some of these. Oh, wait. Tegan said, yep, on Facebook. On the Facebook group though, right? I think it's on the Facebook group. Hmm. I saw it yesterday. Man, Anna, Annalise has been making a bunch of cactuses. Okay, let's share what we got. Window capture, boom. Does that work? Oh, it does work. Okay. So check these out. Uh, let's start on Instagram because they're the easiest ones for me to parse out. Um, because look at that. That's so cute. I love this one. The punk cactus is so dope in my opinion. I just think it looks... It just looks legit. Um, so, funky smell, love it. Love the banana one. Banana cactus, very creative. Little Harry Potter cactuses, that's that. Ooh, this one's really cool. It's so fuzzy, I wonder what yarn they used. I love this one too. This one, like there's someone else that made a little frog and I love the little frog. That's this one. I love these ones. They're so cute. They look so weird, especially the eyes. <laughs> I love them. That's a cute little guy. It's like a little, oopsies. I lost him. This one. Look, he's like a little, like a little nymph in the, he's like, oh, that's so cute. 
I don't think I saw that one before. Oh, he's like holding something. What's he holding? A geeky... Oh, he's reading. Cute. Is that a pipe? A summer lover. Oh, wait. There's more pictures for that one. Oh, cute. Oh, he's even got a little guitar. Wow. I like that. That looks very crisp. Good stitchers. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> My dump truck cactus. Zoe. <laughs> Zoe. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. It's like it's like uh, the uh, Venus something. I studied anthropology, and there's like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's freaking wonderful. Oh my god, Zoe. That's so good. Oh wow. Oh, that's just beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that one's so cute. And I've noticed this one before. I love the picture. Did you throw it up and just get the picture right? Or, oh no, it's hanging by a string. Very cute. That must have been really hard to get it right. And then, yes, this is the Mario one that we were talking about in the beginning of the stream. I love that this guy's got two pots on his feet. Like he's growing out of two things and he just got like connected. And then this was the first one that actually got submitted and I love it. It's so cute, so creative. Looks like it's a pattern by someone named Finey Toys and it's just very, very unique. Uh, and then I saw, this was actually the actually the first one was the bunny cactus. Um, okay, let's switch over to Discord. There's some on Discord. That's cute. It's like a, it's, it's almost like the thing from uh, Animal Crossing. Now, hopefully I don't have too much stuff on here that doesn't look right. Let's see, what can you see? You know, maybe if we just, can I like minimize the second, eh, whatever. I saw, I just saw this robot one. It's very cute, very uh, creative. Hey, witchy boy, how you doing? I see you in the chat. Witchy boy joined, um... oh, whoa. I haven't seen this one yet. I love it. It's like a pride cactus. Whoa, what the heck? This one, what the heck? Oh, it's beads. That's such a clever way to add spikes. I love that idea. Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. Let's see what else we got. You've seen those ones, you've seen this guy. Oh, this one's so cute. It's just like a little baby cactus. Oh, I saw this one. This, check this one out. It's like a beaver. And it looks like they used the uh, the bonimal like face kind of thing to make the beaver head. And then the tail is a beaver. It's so creative. Very creative way to do it. Darren, Darren the beaver tail. And then there's that cute little frog one that I like. This one is just, look how crisp this, look at these stitches. Really crisp, crisp. whatever. Yeah, it just looks so good. Look how many like likes and everything it has too. It was an early one too. Love that. It looks like I would see this looking at me in the middle of the night and like have a panic attack, but not in a bad way. <laughs> or maybe in a bad way, I don't know. Um Ivy, good question. I'll answer your question in just a second, Ivy. I think that's everything on Discord. There's actually not as many on Discord as I thought. Uh, a lot more on Instagram. Uh, Tegan, I can't find, so I see a few here on Facebook, but I couldn't find it again on Facebook. This Annalise here has made so many cactuses. Alisa, oh, that's a good, wow, they made like a perfect, I thought that I made, I thought I crocheted this. That's how good it is. I legit thought that was made, oh, it's because it's the Club Crochet Cotton Yarn, man. That stuff makes that stuff look crisp. Let's see, I thought I saw another one on here, and I could have sworn I saw yours on here, Tegan, but I don't know where it would be now. Oh, what a fun bonsai tree. 
Annalise has, is on fire. Okay, well, that's all of them for, for the Club Crochet group. So I don't know. Oh, here. Oh, another Annalise one. Anna's been going ham on Facebook. Okay, let's get back to it. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, Tegan, if you want to email me, I, that might be an easier way to make sure, like, confident that I have it for the submission. Um, I'm just Louie at clubcrochet.com, by the way. All right, so now I'm going to start sewing stuff together, by the way. Uh, I'm going to start by sewing together the branches. And then we're going to sew all these back onto the grass. And then we'll sew the grass onto a thing. And then actually we'll be basically done. We just need to add the pom-poms. So we have an hour and a half to sew everything together. Uh, it might be kind of close, but we're going to make it try to work. Um... Oh, Ivy. Okay, Ivy asks, would we be able to purchase seasonal passes after the season ends? I really want to get next season kit, but I don't have but I have so many projects I'm doing this year that I wouldn't be able to start for a while. I don't want to feel like I'm wasting my money since I won't be able to use it up right away. Uh Oh my gosh, there's so many comments there. Wow. Okay. Um uh, yes, the answer is yes. You will be able to or purchase some seasons after the fact. Uh, specifically, seasons one, two, three, and four, I have planned to like stay up indefinitely. Um, it will be cheaper, significantly cheaper, the earlier you buy it. So during the season, it's a little cheaper. Um, before the season, if you order pre-ordered, it's like way cheaper. If you have a membership, it's cheaper. And the cheapest way possible to purchase any of our seasonal kits is with a um, with a uh, uh, an annual pass. That's the cheapest way. It comes with all the season kits. So it comes with the current season and then the next three, so four seasons total. And it's only 60 something bucks. Uh, I think you even get a discount with a membership on top of that, but I'm not really sure. So don't quote me on that. But yes, you will be able to purchase seasons after the fact um, to a degree. After a while, I'm going to start making seasons that are like exclusive, that I don't continue after the fact. Um, what did I put? Oh, here it is. We got to use, we got to use these pipe cleaners. Um, but yeah, after uh, like, like I'm gonna do certain seasons, like I wanna do a season where we're making puppets, for example, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep that after the fact, after the season's over, like specialty seasons, you know? Ones that are for, um, like less, what's the word? Like less um, universally asked for. Like, you know, like Under the Sea kind of is like a forever kit. Is that, I guess, what I mean? Like, eventually I'll do burbs. And burbs might be pretty popular, but I don't know, you know, they're not gonna be as popular as Under the Sea because everybody wants to make whales and stuff. So, yeah. Oh, what do I collect? Ooh, good question. What do I collect other than my own crochet pieces? What do I collect? What do I collect? I collect ukuleles. I've got like a bunch of ukuleles. I've got a few accordions. There's one right there. Um, I do like collecting those. Let's see, what else do I collect? I like collecting board games. Um, books. I guess that's not really a collection. I mean, maybe it is kind of, but I have a lot of books. A lot of books I haven't read yet. I know, right? Jimbo is so cute. Quick little Jimbo break as I twist this pipe cleaner into position. Because look at that little dude. Oh, little angel. He's an angel. When he's asleep, he's an angel. When he's awake, he's a demon. All right, Tegan, if you do find the picture, just send it my way whenever you get a chance. Um, okay, so I wound this pipe cleaner up. I basically, like, the goal here is I want to double up the... Um, 
the pipe cleaner. So I bend it in half and I wind it, and then I make sure it's long enough for our uh, piece. And then we're gonna put this into our large branch here, probably somewhere around here. Where's our other branch? Not here. Nope. Where is it? Did I drop it? Oh, it's under my butt. Under my butt. Is this the small one? No, yeah, this is the small one. So this small branch we want to put somewhere like right here. Like I always want to make like a Y kind of or like a T a weird T. So we're going to go right there. Place these two ends in the inside. And then we're going to connect it really well. So I'm placing it on the inside there. And then I'm going to wind it out, wind it around on the inside of the piece. This can be kind of hard to do. Um, so bear with me. There's a bear with me. Especially like. Hold on. It's the other end. Where is it? There it is. I can feel them. All right, pipe cleaners are in. See that right there? And then I'm just gonna wind it on the inside. Um, let's see, what else do I collect? What is the purple box? Thank you for asking, Sarah. I will show you in a second. That is my new dinosaur crochet kits. They're brand new. They come with the new club crochet yarn. I haven't really talked about them that much in the on the uh, streams or anything. So you're kind of the first one to ask. I've kind of been waiting for someone to ask me. But I'll show you it in just a second. So this is what the that purple box is. Sorry, Jimbo. I didn't mean to spook you. Okay. Check this check this out. I got Club Crochet Dinosaur Crochet Kits made. It makes eight dinosaurs. And it's got everything you need. And it comes with a membership, like a, just a one month membership. It's basically like a tiny seasonal crochet kit, is my idea. And look at how cute these little tiny, look how cute the balls of yarn are. They're so cute. And it comes, it even comes with special scissors. It comes with scissors, comes with the crochet hook, the pipe cleaners, a bunch of eyes, uh, and then obviously the patterns. And uh, yeah, and, it, and it's like this nice little, cute little box it's just so cute i love it <laughs> zoe collects animal skulls and taxidermy that's dope <laughs> it's dope. zoe you're crazy dude uh we should hang out sometime <laughs> you're totally my you're totally my vibe all right Oh, I collect sand dollars too. I really like collecting sand dollars. Um, cool, cool. All right, so let's sew on a small branch to this. Um, we do want to have a little bit of stuffing in it. Not very much though. Uh, where do I keep the stuffing? Actually, I don't think I've used any stuffing from my actual kit. Oh, here's the spread. I need that. Okay. Here it is. Some stuffing. And I also grabbed a stick to make it easier. Okay. 
stuff and stir. Jules might be joining us soon, but she might not. She has a long day of work. Fonha also collects shells. Oh, cool. I like this song. Sounds like a robot. You forgot to mention that you got shells from who's where's Pula Pingyang? I don't know where that is, but very cool. What what do those look like? Huh. Next time I'm in Canada's most boring city, I'll let you know, Zoe. I forget what city what city are you from I know you and Cooper are both from Canada the only places I've been to Canada though have been I've been to Vancouver Vancouver is pretty fun cold when I went oh my god cold but it was pretty cool um, really beautiful they had a really beautiful like garden there uh, that I loved and then I've been to Nova Scotia Jules's family owns a place in Nova Scotia so we go on vacations there every now and then. Um, I've only been once, but I will be back there. And Ottawa, yes, Ottawa, that's right. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be going to Ottawa. <laughs> Maybe there's gonna be a cool convention there that I should go check out. Okay, Let's see, do we have enough? Pretty close. I need just a little bit, tiny bit more at the very bottom of this. So, there we go. Okay. It's stuffed up. Look how much thicker it looks because it's, because this one is stuffed and this one's not. That's funny. Man, I, my workstation right now is a mess. Check this out. I found something out with my kids. So, I've told this, I said this before, but these kits are also secretly yarn holders. So you put yarn in there and then you can like pull it out. Um, you like rip these out when you buy the box. But I found out that these also work as scissor holders. I don't know if it'll work with these scissors, but let's find out. Yeah, check it. They hold scissors. And I poked a hole into this part and it holds your needle. So you have like a little like workstation with you. So it, it's pretty cool. Not planned, but pretty cool. Cheryl, I'm doing well, how are you? Hope you're having a great day, Cheryl. Whale teeth shells. That's kind of cool. That sounds whimsical. counting my stitches I'm just gonna like sew it on willy-nilly and like accept accept fate whatever whatever fate gives us while we sew this on is what we're gonna get just gonna guesstimate where the stitches go so you know what sometimes it's fun to live dangerously I'm gonna have so many of these bonsai trees. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them all. I should probably sell some of them. I'll give them as Christmas gifts. That's that's what I'll do with them. Not all of them, but I'll give some of them as Christmas gifts. Cause this is gonna be like my like sixth, sixth, the sixth or seventh, I think. A lot of bonsai trees. Hey, it's, it worked perfect. Didn't need a count or nothing. Left it up to fate. And you know what fate said? Here you go, Louie. A perfect sew. Thank you, fate. 
I deserve it. Am I doing good for time? I don't know yet. I don't know. We should be done sewing the branches together in probably just like a little bit. Like, let's see what time is it right now? Four, at least by five, we should be done sewing this to the, to the um, grass patch. And then we can start sewing on the um, pom poms. That won't take very long. And then we can, uh, what's the last thing we need to do? Oh, sew it onto like a piece of cardboard. We just have a lot of sewing, but it's really not too bad because we don't have that many, we don't have any more crocheting to do. So we should be able to make it in time. Oh, a bonsai, I like that. That's clever. You know what I should do? I should be putting magnets in these. I guess, you know what, they, these are magnetic technically because they're metal. So maybe magnets can stick to it that way. But. Julie, you do. You should order some micro crochet kits because they are awesome. I have never been more proud of micro crochet kits than I am right now, I will say. This, this new yarn, the way that they're designed, the way that they all come together, I'm really, really proud of them. So highly suggested. Also, if you have purchased one of my kits, uh, I just put up review, like the options so you can give reviews. So it would be cool to give reviews if, you, if you'd if you like to. They go a long way. So I'm, I'm winding another pipe cleaner to add into the center of our branch so that it, you know, we can shape it in the way we want it to. Cat is out of here. Going to check on Jules probably. Perfect. All right, now we want this branch. You know, normally I've been doing the branch, like the third branch really low, like down here. You know, to make it kind of more bonsai tree, but it kind of might be nice to put it higher up, like up here, because we don't have one like that. You know, and it'll be more of like a tree. So let's try that. Yeah, we'll try something like that. Changing things up. I also have a bunch of extra pom-poms. Uh, so it might be kind of fun to like go crazy with the pom-poms because I, I bought a bunch of pom-poms when I was like trying out different ones for this kit. So I bought literally like 4,000 pom-poms. So it might be kind of fun just to like add a ridiculous amount of pom-poms onto it. 12.40 p.m. in the UK right now. Well, thanks for thanks for sticking around, Sarah. If you need to go, I totally get it. It's very late there. I'm a night owl, but not everybody is. Okay, where's the... There we go. That's how we're sewing it together. Right. This on it. And we'll stuff this branch up too. Cheryl, you're a night owl like me. It's more fun. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Jules brought tea. Would I you like to hang out with us? I would like to, but work is keeping me busy. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, there's the camera. I always look at the picture. Doesn't look good today. Look it at that. It looks really good. Yeah. I even got the tip cam going and I got the cat cam going. What's the tip cam? Well, if someone tips, I add something to the tip cam. Where's the tip cam? Up there? Yeah, it shows the all the way back there. So you have to get up a lot. 
Well, there hasn't been any tips, so just get, Cooper. Help him get his steps in. <laughs> yeah, help me get my steps in. Help us buy dinner tonight. Yeah, we're gonna go out to dinner. Actually, that's what I needed to do. I need to book a reservation. Because LA, baby, that's what LA people do. They book reservations. <laughs> I think we could be maybe okay, but. No, we'll be fine. But I just wanna see if there's something cool in the Specific that you wanna go to? Yeah. I'm gonna take him to a show. Take me to a show. We're gonna see Wolves of Glendale mm -hmm. and also some other stuff. Yeah, it's a variety show, but it'll be fun. But we're very excited to see Wolves of Glendale. We're big fans. You're a big fan. We're both big fans. I like two of their songs a lot. Well, they only have like four. I so. know, exactly. You like half of their... <laughs> I like half their yeah. stuff. <laughs> Tegan says, hello. Farana... Oh, Farana huh. says hi. Hello and Hasn't goodbye. met you. I'm Jules. And I'm, Tegan just finished their ogre. Here. Look, I'm doing fun dances on screen. Okay, I'm going to go now. Have fun. Okay. Enjoy your, your tree. What, what are you going to name it? Heard a funny name from the other room. I don't think we're gonna name it. No. I didn't really think about that actually. I guess we could add a face on it. I've never added a face on one of these bonsai trees. Oh. I don't know. Maybe we should ask. Let's ask. Should we give our bonsai tree a face? That's a good question. Let's find out what they, what the people want. All right. What do y'all want? Do you want a face? Cause that could be kind of fun. Should. We add a face. Boom. Asked. Because I need to know before it's too late, basically. I'm cool without a face, though, too. Like, it's not really a big deal one way or the other. Might be kind of fun though especially since we're putting the branch up so high so it gives us a lot of like um real estate for a face real estate no hmm. there's a pun there there's a pun there i haven't found it yet but there's a pun there Yeah, how do you pronounce your your name? Farana? Farana? Farhana? Do I pronounce the H? Oh, that's right. She heard the bond sigh. Yeah, that's right. That that is what probably what she heard. Dude, Tegan, very cool that you finished the ogre. Are you making a whole stitch set? I think we maybe talked about this, but I forget. good All right you see how it's gonna be a tree especially once we add once we add pom-poms it really like brings it all together I'll go ahead and willy-nilly crochet on or sew on our big branch I'm kind of just going wherever Trying to sew it on in a circle-ish. Duh, Cooper, thank you. Oh my God. Thank you for letting me know. Who said that? Julie, thank you for letting me know because I definitely missed that. Cooper, thank you for your support. Cooper just donated another $10 because they want us to eat well tonight and they also want me to get up and get my steps in. So let me go get my steps in just a second. I need to sew on this part right here. Okay. Jimbo, we're gonna go put something in the in the tip box. Actually, let's actually switch the cam so you can see it closer. Oh, why did the music stop? That's weird. Huh, I don't know why the music quit. Whatever. 
Let's add something to the background. Let's see, we're gonna add a Bonimal. Oh, and I gotta show you my new bag that I made. Oh, let's add this. Oh, wait, let me show you on the other camera, actually. Hold on, Jimbo. We're doing something. We're doing something. Yeah, huh? We're gonna add this for you, Cooper. It's a little, it's our chameleon. I added little stripes on his back too. I totally messed up and didn't publish this pattern in time. So I'm really sorry for everybody. Uh, I will work on this though. Um, I have it written down somewhere, but we're gonna add this to the background for you, Cooper. And while Jimbo literally eats all of our yarn. That's, that's just great. And we're gonna switch the camera. And then just a real quick little, just preview of what Jimbo's up to. Really cool, really cool stuff going on right down there. Thank you for eating all of my yarn, Jiminy Cricket. You're very, you're doing great. I really appreciate, I really appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, I gotta sit there, bud. Hey, you take my spot. That's my spot. Oh wait, let's show them this. Check it out, I made a new bag. It's like a goblin bag that's like oozy. It's just to hold goblins. But I also gave, put magnets on here, on this, so that their little, the little bag hands, like the, like the monomal can grab onto goblins and throw them in their bag. Just kind of fun. I just made it last night. Okay. Now I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down. <laughs> what? What'd you say? What? No. Oh. Okay. Oh no, we have Discord open. I heard it. Boom. Okay. Hey. I need that hand that is under your butt. Drink some tea while you're waiting. Oh, and we need to know if we're gonna add a face or not too. I think we are gonna add a face though. Let's end the poll and find out, bud. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh, really? Tegan said that to you? Tegan, why would you say that to him? He's not supposed to know those kind of words. What else does she tell you? D Tegan! Not cool! You cannot teach him those kind of words. He's only five. He's a baby still. He's not supposed to know that kind of language. You gotta stop hanging out with Tegan so much. No, hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Hey, stop. We are not in a fight. This is not a fight. Don't fight me. This is not a fight. You're not fighting me. Stop fighting me. Ouch. Oh, it does kind of look like a mossy log. Oh my God, that's such a good idea though. Zoe, that's a great idea. I should totally do a mossy log version. I love that idea. Dude, are you serious right now? We saw you do that. We saw, we all saw that. Hey, don't bite that. Stop, stop. That is not edible. You're gonna unplug the camera. Yeah, back off. Jimbo's strongly considering unplugging the camera. Don't! Don't. You're gonna get kicked out if you do that again, okay? I know you understand English. Don't act like you don't. We all know your secrets, Jimbo. Little demon. Daddy's little demon.
Hey. Ooh, that's a great idea, D Sunday. I did not think about that, but that's a really good idea. I should make a bag for the end of the sea kit. Dude, Jimbo, did you see that? He's trying to push this camera over. Hey, you are something else right now. Chill out. What are you doing? Hey, chill, my little friend. Golly. Oh, I also promised to show you another pattern from the Under the Sea kit uh, for donation. So let me show you that too. Let me finish sewing this on and then I'll show you another one of the patterns that's coming out next season. <laughs> Julie says, <laughs> Julie, hey Jimbo, Julie says that uh, if, if, <laughs> Julie says that you say that if you don't fight it, there won't be a fight. So I should probably just let you knock over all of the things and fight the wires and just be truly chaos incarnate. Allow your, allow your chaos to reign free. And you know, I will say Julie's got a point. Not, a, not necessarily a good point, but they have a point. I'm just gonna double knot all this together. Right, a giant clam, that's a great idea. Yes, what a good, that's a perfect idea for the bag. Or a big sea urchin. Oh my God, a big sea urchin. Oh, that's way better, that's such a good idea because it would be super easy. You just do like bean stitches and then you pull the bean stitches out and cut them and be like a really fuzzy bag. Zoe, Zoe, we need to like just Brain, have Zoe just brainstorm ideas for next time, next season because they're on fire. Oh yeah, wait, how do you say your name? Fahan, Farhana, Farhana, got it. Now I know, Farhana, from Malaysia, right? Okay, Tegan, you sent your cactus like via email, right? I think via email. Cool. Yeah, sea urchin is a really good idea. Or, or like a um, we could even do a uh, what are those things called? Like a sea anemone. That could be kind of cool. Especially if we had a bunch of clownfish. Oh my gosh, I should have done orange in this kit. Then you could have made clownfish. Dang. Too late, but that would have been really a good idea. I still could do a clownfish pattern, but. I actually don't think there's any, there's some fish, but there's not like just like a classic fish pattern yet. So I need to make it at, make it that. I also had a bunch of ideas for new games for these under the sea kit. Okay. So I just wound up the last pipe cleaner up so that it's super strong. And then we can just put it right down into the center of our tree. So that way the top of it is also bendable. So we can like take this top part and like bend it in, take that one, bend it up. Just make it in any position that we want for our tree. That looks pretty good though. And then uh, we'll stuff this up. And we next need to, I guess, add a face, right? You guys voted on a face. Yeah, okay, we're good. 
Uh, let's add a face. Um, we need to use, I think maybe we'll just go with like a simple smile for the tree. You know, keep it simple since this is our first one. And I don't want to like complicate things too much. But like right here looks like a pretty good spot for a face. So we'll do it right there. Um, I'm going to add the smile first and then add the, uh, the eyes around the smile. I think we'll do, what do you think, 8 millimeter eyes? Probably. 6 millimeter sounds too small for our eyes. And we really only have between 6 millimeter and 8 millimeter in the kit. So I think we should go with 8 millimeter. So... I think we're gonna go like right here. How does that look on camera? Like right like this? Yeah, that's not bad. Is that too low? Pretty low. No, that's not too low. I think that's a good spot for it. And then I'm just gonna go... I think we're gonna do a really simple, cute little simple smile. Just to like match the vibe of the rest of the the pieces. Okay. Like that. There's our smile. You know, it didn't look as good on the camera, but it, it's a really good smile. Ooh, we could probably do that, Julie. Lidded, like like eyelids. I think we can make that work. Look like a sleepy tree. That's not a bad idea. Where are the eyes? Those are six months. I took the eight millimeter out. Put it over here. I forgot. I forgot that we took the eight millimeter eyes out for the um, for this guy that we made in our cactus live stream. By the way, look at how cute our little dude is. I, what do we name him? Oh shoot! What do we name him? By the way, look at this comes out right so he's got his little feet and there's his little butt just saying this is one of my favorite cactuses we made and we made it on the live stream how cool is that okay adding our eyes oh and oh that's an interesting idea zoe we can make like the tentacle like the zo uh, the 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 sea anemones like tentacles holding on to things hmm Ideas, ideas, ideas. There's one eye. The cactus does kind of look like pudding. So that whole, the Amy, that whole cactus was made, Dill, that's right, we named him Dill. Um, that whole cactus was made on live stream and every part of it was suggested by this live stream. So they were like, you should make it short. You should do these spikes. You should make it this color. You should do this color for the pot. So it was all like based on the, the chat. Pretty cute. Cute little face. And every, yes, everything needs a butt to be cute. How did I do the tongue? I'll show you. I think it's just embroidered on. Like I basically just used some pink thread and or pink yarn and just like went around a few times to make the tongue. Um, but let me look at it again a little closer and I'll I'll let you know. Ooh, Tegan, we don't have eels yet. See what I mean? That's why these three July, April or July, August, and September are all gonna be under the sea themed. 
So, cause we got a lot of fun ideas for things that we can make, right? Like eels, sea anemones, sea urchins, just fish in general. Um, oh, that's right. I want to show you another one of the patterns that I already have. Um, so here's the next one. And now heads up, I am reworking this one. This is just the first draft, the first version of it. But the whale, the little whale that I showed last uh, time, which looks like this this is one of the first patterns that i ever made i made it in high school um i actually don't know if i ever even released it but i made this in high school and then so i was like okay let's look back at my old stuff um so this was this is like the beginner pattern for the kit just a very simple whale it's very easy to make um but i'm customizing it to make a bunch of different kinds of whales so that like no matter your level of crocheter you can make different kinds of stuff and one of them uh, again, this is the rough draft. It is not ready. This is totally a prototype. Uh, but we're doing this little, oh, come on, come on, focus on the right part. There you go. It's like a little shark. My problem is right now that this part, the nose, I think needs to be pointier. So does Jules actually. So I think we got to make it more like, I'm going to just pinch it to get it kind of like how we want it. You know, I think it just needs to be, stop looking at my face. There you go, something like that. So I'm still working on it. Oh my gosh, you know what I just also realized? Its tail is sewn on wrong. It's supposed to be like this. So yeah, this is a mess up. I've got to redo that. Um, but it's not that bad. Oh wow, I'm glad I showed that on this stream because I wouldn't have noticed that I did the tail wrong. Yeah, baby shark, yeah. Okay. Face is sewn on. Um, we might add eyelids later. I think we should just finish up the tree and then we can add the eyelids later if we want them. Um, but for right now, I think, because we only have an hour left, so I want to just finish it. Uh, and then if we have enough time, we'll add our eyelids. So the next thing we want to do is we want to sew on this onto our grass. And then after that is gonna be the really tough part of sewing on this grass onto a cardboard cutout that we're gonna to have to make. And also, we gotta find the needle. Oh yeah, and I saw someone put shrimp. Oh my God, we should totally make shrimp. Uh, that's a great idea. Okay. This sewn on like that. Right, okay. As centered as possible. A, C, A, P centered as possible. So I'm just gonna hold it into place and I'm just gonna start. I'm still gonna do it a little willy nilly, you know, just kind of like sew it on the way that it wants to be sewn on, but I do wanna just hold it into place as I go, just to make sure. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, and then in future seasons, by the way, when I start doing future themes, like let's say we do farm animals or something, I really want to start doing a club crochet challenge where you can design a pattern for the season. And then obviously you get paid for that pattern. And then we would like produce it for you and make it into a real pretty pattern. Um, but I don't know. That's just something I've been thinking about is like, I really want to turn these seasonal crochet kits into kind of a community thing where like, it features a lot of different designers, a lot of different um, patterns and and lets other new designers like kind of, it, it could be like a launching point for, for new crochet designers and stuff is my idea. Um, yeah, because in the long, long run, I really want Club Crochet to be like a, uh, like a home 
for other crocheters so that other crocheters can like publish their patterns there and then like get paid well for their crochet patterns because it's hard to make actual money as a crocheter. So I kind of want to use Club Crochet as a way to like help other crocheters, uh, you know, su successful. That's, that's kind of the goal for the site in the long run. But I got a lot of stuff to do before that. Can I make a giraffe sometime? Yes. I think eventually <clears throat> one of the seasons is going to be like sa the savannah. You know, like, uh, and yeah, I've tried to do a giraffe in the past. Giraffes are really hard because of their spots. It's very difficult to like, cause you don't know, you know, like, do I do it with color changes? Do I do it with like, uh, needle felting? Like, how do I do the spots? And spots with crochet can be kind of tough, but I have tried. I think the quickest way you're gonna get a draft pattern is via bonimal, you know, a draft version of a bonimal, because that's like small and easier for me to, to put in the middle of, you know, in the middle of a another project that I'm working on. But yeah, I will try to work on that for you. <laughs> you know, Twiz, I actually thought you meant Chino, uh, but you said Chibi. I agree. I think little Chibi um, vehicles, I think vehicles is going to be one in the future, a uh, season in the future. Um, uh, we're definitely going to be going to be going to space. We're going to be go doing, um, like I said, farm animals. We're going to go back to prehistoric patterns again. We're going to do more dinosaurs and stuff. Um, yeah, lots, lots to do. Lots of ideas. It's kind of fun to have it like themed like that because it, it does like make it, you know, more, I don't know, kind of like easier to come up with ideas for a theme and easier for other crocheters to collaborate and stuff. So I'm just really excited for how the new seasonal crochet idea is working and all the other ideas that I'm getting from doing, from changing the, the system like this. Almost all the way sewn on. I just need to stuff it a little bit more. There's the stuffing. Ooh. Can cotton yarn be metallic? Like, I think it, I think no. You can get like you can get like shiny cotton yarn. Uh, you can get shiny yarn in general. It doesn't have to be cotton. But literal metal on it, I don't think you can. I mean, there are yarns that you can get metal on it, but that wouldn't be cotton, you know, that'd be metal. See ya, Fahana. Thanks for joining. Your chub z zilla tail does not look right. Ooh, that's an old pattern too. If you have any questions, Cheryl, um, I would show you on the live stream, but like this isn't the best live stream for me to actually show you how to crochet. Uh, if you'd like to just email me or go onto the Discord channel to ask for help, um, uh, you know, it might be the easier way for me to give you, like actually give you advice. But um, I don't know if that's what you're looking for or not. Yes, um, I think toys and like puppets are kind of in the same like world in my brain for a season. Okay, our tree's almost sewn on. To the grass, I mean. There we 
go. The next part's gonna be really fun is doing the, uh, the cardboard section. Figure that out together. And then if we have enough time, I'll add eyelids onto our tree, but I can do that after the fact. Twiz, you're still working on the grass patch. Yeah, the grass patch can be can take a second, especially when you have a cat on your lap, turns out. Yeah, it's standing up, right? That's pretty good. Oh, Tegan, Chubzilla was the first thing you made? That's so cool. That makes me so happy. Chubzilla was actually, I think, a an alternative pattern for season one, too. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Okay, just a few more. sleepy. We're going to switch it just a second. Oh, I just realized I totally forgot to do something on this, but that's okay. I'll just use this end. Tree, tree, naked tree, but tree. Okay, next is the grass patch part. Uh, so I need to get some scissors and some cardboard. And some extra thread. Yeah. Cardboard's easy enough. Yeah, hi bud. Grab some scissors. Hi. Hi, Jimbo. Okay. So this is how I do this grass, the part for the grass patch is I take this and, uh, oh, we also need a pen. Oh, I have a pen. Cool. And we need a, a uh, piece of yarn. Um, I'll just use a little bit of this green yarn. And basically what I do is I take this yarn and I'll measure it from like one side of the pot to the other. And this is going to give us the size for the cardboard that goes on the inside of this. So we're going to go from like Hold on, from like there, there, yeah. So this will give us the diameter. Okay, so this should be, yeah, it might be actually a little big, so I'll cut it down just a little bit. Okay. Oh my God, these scissors are not good. 
But that's why we're using them for the for cutting cardboard because I don't want to mess up my real good scissors. Um, okay, and then we need to put a hole in the cardboard. That's gonna be the center of where we're gonna make, we're gonna basically make a circle around this. So I take this, Jimbo, stop. Okay, and basically what I do is I take this uh, little piece of yarn and I'm gonna draw a little line on either side of the yarn. And then I'm gonna turn the yarn and do the same thing over here. And this is just like my rough way to get a basic circle on this. You just need something kind of, that kind of works. Gosh, bud, you are freaking crazy, dude. And then essentially, hold on, I'm almost done. You've got a little circle of how big you need that it to be. And then we'll take our scissor and we'll cut the circle out. There we go, done. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's funny. Uh, okay, so now, yeah, I just cut it so it's easier to work with. And then I'm gonna cut around. I'm gonna go a bit bigger than the circle really is because I can always cut it smaller. Can't cut it bigger. like a pretty good circle and then we're gonna try it out I just put it into this and then hope it fits well in here and if it doesn't we can cut it to be smaller but honestly it fits pretty well yeah that fits perfect look at that first try pretty good not bad. All right, that was easy. Now we're gonna take the tree that Jimbo was messing with and we're going to sew this to this. Um, the way to do that actually is, I do wanna get a slightly small or slightly stronger um, or, or, or sharper needle, which I have in the light bulb. found this the other day uh, it's a like it's a little box that I have of just needles and I knew it was somewhere over there and I, was, I just saw it like yesterday uh, but this will work even better because of this needle right here it is sharp but also round, or, or a good hole there. Uh, Tishy, uh, good question. Tishy asks, 
if we make something of your designs, can we sell them? Yes, you just can't sell the crochet pattern, but you can sell anything that you crochet using my patterns. Um, I do give the A-OK. -okay. So you're good to go, Tishy. If you would like to, uh, go for it. I can't wait to see whatever you make. What are, what are you looking for? Looking to sell? A lot of people sell those Triceratops on Etsy. Um, shockingly, not a lot of people are selling the little goblins. I'm kind of surprised about because they're so cute, but. Okay, this goes through the center. We're gonna use this to double knot to at the end to like keep everything in one space. And then we're just gonna sew this onto the grass patch or the grass patch onto the cardboard. To do that, we need to find the end of our yarn. Okay. This part's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird way to sew things on, especially because it's like cardboard. It's kind of strange to sew yarn to cardboard, but it's also kind of fun because you've never done it. I, at least I've never done it before. Oh, the burbs. Yes, Tishy. Highly recommended. Make some burbs, they're super fun. That's a fun, that's a, not only a fun crochet pattern, but it's also like, I think it would go over well on like Etsy. Or is that what you're gonna sell it, Etsy? Oh yeah, that's right. My only caveat for if you do sell things online using my patterns is that I do ask you to put in the description pattern by clubcrochet.com. That's my only request though. Other than that, you're good to go. All right. Now the fun process of sewing this on. And I've already made a knot. So, bad start. And for some reason, this thread, Jimbo, is covered in your spit. How could that be possible? Where would that have come from? Wow. gonna cut that there okay let's get back to it hi Jimbo yeah what are you having a tough time you're not getting the attention that you demand so thoroughly Sauce. Hello, welcome. Just got off work. Thanks for joining. It's good to see you. Jimbo is now attacking all of the toys from the season two kit. So that's kind of cool. Right, Jimbo, we just have a bunch of these stitches to sew on, but honestly, we might, I think we might make it. I think we might make it in time because after this, all we have to do is add the pom-poms and we're done. And the pom-poms are kind of just like fun. It's not like it's too difficult. So yeah, basically I'm saying, I think we're on track, which is shocking, but true. Oh my gosh, Sarah, that's so cute. Sarah said that they've been making goblins in a bunch of different colors uh, with a bunch of different emotions for grief slash bereavement counseling. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's way cool of you, Sarah. You should be very proud of yourself. That is awesome. I'm proud of you. 
that's a really just a good thing to do. And also, cool, crocheting goblins. Okay. I do like kind of wish that I got a little bit stronger of cardboard for this, but it's not the worst. And don't let me forget that I need to stuff this before I'm done sewing it closed. That's super important and uh, easy to forget. So um, if you see me getting close to the end of this and I haven't stuffed it up yet, uh, let me know because that will be an issue, won't it Jimbo? What are you sitting up there for? You never sit there. He's sitting in the other couch. It's so strange. He like never ever sits there. What are you doing that for? Little weirdo. Just a bunch of sewing. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Fourth of the way there. Yes, Tishy, yes, you know that feeling well. Yeah, that feeling of sewing something closed when you're like, I'm almost done, but also this is the worst part. <laughs> That's how I always feel. I get like this anxiousness of like, oh, I'm so close. But we do have to sew on the pom-poms after this, so we have a little bit more to go after it, but... Still, we're almost done. Yeah, sewing, sewing bottomals closed without the magnets on is, is definitely a big, like, common theme for me as well, Cooper. It's just like you're almost done. You're like, ah, oh, that's it. I'm done. I'm just gonna sew it closed. And then you're like, crap, I forgot to put the magnet in it. Wait till you see one of the new patterns for the next season's kit. Uh, I do the same thing with those ones where I, I sew magnets in them. And they're so... So cute. You're gonna be obsessed with them, Cooper. You, you want us to add a burb to this? We might actually be able to do that. I don't think we're gonna crochet one for it, but I do have some burbs that might work really well for this. Depends how strong the top of this is, but it does have um, it does have those pipe cleaners in it, which are metal, so they will magnetically attach to the burbs if we ask nicely. There we go. All right, a little bit further than halfway. Once we get to like right here, I need to stuff it. Which 
There's something so satisfying about shoving a needle through cardboard. Oh, Sarah. We are connected. Our brains have melded, Sarah. You said what I was just thinking. That's funny. Here we go, Sarah. This is for you. Finger stabbing, yeah. weird to me that you're laying there Jimbo such a weird dude Stuff it a little bit. Where, he's laying right there. Where you can't see him on the camera. He's laying on the other couch. It's just like this one, but there's two of these orange, like, tangerine couches. It doesn't look like a tangerine. It looks like a clementine. I call it my clementine couch. stuffed I just want a little bit more stuffing on the side that I'm so enclosed right now so I don't terribly want to stuff it right away um, I'm also out of stuffing so I'm gonna have to grab some more few more. They're all lined up well. I'm actually doing, look how cleanly it's sewn on on the bottom. It looks really nice. I kind of wish I added felt so that it would be even cleaner, but oh well. That's what I did for my, I made one of these for my brother for his, uh, he works at the, um, he works at AAA and uh, he got he gets to like put things on his desk and stuff and he really likes plants but he can't keep them alive so i made him a bonsai tree and i sewed on like felt onto the bottom to make it look really really crisp and uh yeah it looked really really good okay before i go any further i definitely need to add some more stuffing and I also want to show you Jimbo because he's just so cute. Look at this boy. Oh, I'm sorry. We put him on blast and now he doesn't want to be there anymore. Yeah, go into your spot. Go on.
Ooh, uh, yeah, I think we should. I think we should make giant octopi in, um, in season two, right? That'd be fun. Yeah, I guess he's camera shy. Tishy, that, that puppy looks so cute. Is that your dog? On your thumbnail? Looks very cute. I think that's enough stuffing. Eh, maybe just a tiny bit more. That's probably good. Okay. okay, we got about 15 to 20 minutes to sew on all of the pom poms, uh, which actually feels like a reasonable time frame. I think we can make that work. As long as they don't go crazy and sew on a bunch of pom-poms. Okay. All right, last one. I just made a knot at the top and then I'm gonna go back in. I'll just go into here. And then I'm just gonna come out and make this into another piece of grass. So you won't even know what's there. Pretty good. All right, moment of truth to see if this goes into the pot correctly. Let's see if this works. That's good. Wait. Oh, wait. Go where you're supposed to. Yeah. Right there. And then pull this part up. Nice. Look at that, our tree is sewn on and it work and it fits perfect. Okay, then we just have one more thing. We just need to add our pom poms and we'll be done. Look at how nice he looks. Aw, he's so cute. Okay, a little naked, but very cute. All right, we need this and we need pom poms. I have been waiting to use these all season long. I'm so excited to use these. And we might add other pom-poms on there too. Depending on how long these take to sew on. Yeah, Amy, hard suggestion. These trees are very cool. They're also like the most, like pretty much the most practical. Hello, focus. Hello, I'm over here. Jeez, what was that? That was weird. Okay. Hey, Amaze Feed, how are you doing? It's 
sneezes. <laughs> laughing at the focus, yeah. Okay. Let's sew on all of our pom-poms. I'm just using the black thread to sew it on because you, you won't see any of the thread through it anyhow, so it's like, whatever. Kind of like, whatever. One down, I think there's 10 total. So one down, nine to go. I'll pull that a little tighter. Okay. Bahana, Bahana, you're back. Welcome back. We'll do one more down here somewhere. Yeah. I love these pom-poms, they're so big. I used to sew on pom-poms onto these, but they were always tiny little pom-poms. Now I got big pom-poms. You gave us succulent arms and legs, Amaze Feed? That's cool. Oh, Cooper, you're on your second succulent. Freaking awesome. Dude, is that pattern not like one of the coolest ones in the season or what? I think it's like top tier. Um, I'm going to sew on these other pom-poms a little better just because they're a little floppier than I want them to be. Oops, pulled some pom-pom out. There we go. Like, look how floppy this one is. That's too floppy. Okay, out through here, and then double down together. Okay, first branch pom-poms are sewn on. I just did three on, on just the end of one of the branches. Kind of like just really trying to fill it in. And then that way I can add other pom-poms into like the center of the branches later if I want to add more to like really fill it out. But let's see how that looks. There you go. 
part part way there. Yes. And then three, we'll do like one, two, three. I think this one will like fill in a little bit more, like the middle one. And then this last one will fill in too. So let's do the let's do the longer end first, right over here. See you later, Maze Feed. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. Is worsted the same as DK? No, they're two different sizes. DK is a little smaller than worsted weight, essentially. Okay, I don't know how that happened. Goofed up somewhere here. Okay. Pretty good. We're gonna need a lot more thread. That's okay. Yeah, Chunky's even bigger than worsted weight. to this branch. Oops. Ow. I poked myself on the finger. I didn't bleed though. But hoy. Have you ever made pom-poms out of yarn? Yes, I was saying that in the beginning actually, Tegan. Um, I do have a video tutorial where I show how to do that. Um, it's actually free on the YouTube channel. Um, I show how to do it with your hands, but uh, I also have like pom-pom makers that are pretty helpful. And uh, yeah, highly suggested. But it, gosh, it's so much easier to use pom-poms that are already made, especially when you have to make like a bunch of them. And making little pom-poms is just so tedious in my opinion. So having them already purchased, you know, like part of the kit, was a huge goal. When I was doing this kit, I was like, pom poms, yes. Yeah, and you can buy pom pom makers, yeah. It still is tedious though. Just less tedious. All right. Branches. He kind of looks like Sudowoodo. Suda Wudo. I think he's got a you know, little dance to him. Yeah, you can use cardboard. Cardboard totally works. Okay. We got four more pom poms to sew on onto the very end of this one. And then we might add other ones, but I don't know yet. Where's our thread? Oh, here it is.
I think we're just gonna use the rest of this thread. I'll grab more next time for my, um, the face of the succulent. But yeah. Okay. There. Over here. Uh oh. It looks like we're not going to make our six o'clock deadline. So. We're almost done now. So that means I won't be adding eyelids to our tree. Um, I might add them later off the live stream. But I got a date, baby. I got a date with a pretty fiance that needs to happen so tree eyelids can wait there we go one <laughs> it kind of does look like he's balding, huh? He's a middle-aged tree. You know. Not as bushy of a... of branches as his younger days. No, it'll fill in a little bit, hopefully. One right here. Maybe we'll do one right down here. Yeah, I got an idea. Might help fill it in a bit too. I'm just gonna do one right on the tip. Well, like close to the tip, just to fill in the top area. And then I think it might help out with the whole balding problem. Yeah. Last one, right there. go all right hey actually we are finishing it by six what crazy right under the bell three minutes to go oh my gosh we did so good Jimbo and you know what you were a great co-host buddy I'm proud of you you were a little noisy in the beginning but you really chilled out and made it really fun for us and I love you for that Binjo. Okay, 
here's what we got. He's got he's kind of a little floppy. Look, he's like he's like oh. I might put a I might actually put a stake in the center of him. I just don't think I stuffed the center of him enough as much as I wish I did. Um, but you know, he holds his shape fine. It's just I keep wiggling him. See? A wiggly tree. <laughs> And then we can open it up. Oh! And we can close it back up. And I might sew on a few more pom-poms later. I definitely might also put a stick like this right down the center of them to keep them upright a little bit better. But our tree is done. Oh, D Sunday loves the floppy tree. Okay, cool. Then maybe we'll keep them floppy. Oh. It is really fun, actually. <laughs> you think he needs inner? Oh, you think he needs stuff in the inside? I'll tell you what we can do. We'll put in a little, our little whale. Right into the center. So the whale is a little big. Eh, no, it works. Now he's got a little secret. Something fishy about him. <laughs> Get the grass too. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hey, next Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, same time, same place. Uh, we're gonna be moving back to the light box and we'll be working on succulents. So we're gonna be making a few succulents next week. Uh, again, starting at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, same time, same place, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. If this video gets 150 likes, I'll do a giveaway next live stream. Uh, the seasonal crochet kits should be up for sale tomorrow. Um, the, I mean, next season's crochet kit, the under the sea one, should be up for sale tomorrow. Uh, I'll email you about it when it is available um, and it'll be a lot cheaper the earlier buy it. So that's the thing there. Um, thank you guys so much again for watching. I really appreciate you guys joining me. Uh, you made this live stream so much fun. And uh, yeah, I, you know, I'm going to miss these chill live streams, but we will be back in the light box next week and then we'll come back here after that. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks again for joining. Pasta la pizza. Do a little floppy tree dance. Okay, let's look at Jimbo for a while. And, uh, and, oh my gosh, <laughs> no, you hang up. Oh my God, stop, you're making me blush. Er, my gerb. Nerr. I dropped the I dropped the scissors, Jimbo. Oh wait, we need to change this text. There we go. Thanks for watching. No, you hang up first, Cheryl. No, actually, you hang up first. Oh, stop, Tegan. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.